Here we go. So Detroit will get the first possession. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Tony Bradley. Bruce Brown is out there with Aaron Holiday, And it's Windler in at the two-guard position. Now here's Bay. Brown with some nice D. Pass to Holiday. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And Grant, how often do players check in on their own stats during a season? B.A., everybody in the league watches their numbers. Some guys are just willing to admit it. Bay against Brown. Back to Joseph. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. It's tipped. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And it's Cunningham missing. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Pass to Brown. The three. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Here's Cunningham. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Cunningham. And here's Holiday. Over to the left wing. Here's Windler. Three-pointer, no good. And here's Detroit. And looking at Marvin Bagley, the talent is evident. A big man that can go out and get you a double-double any night. Plays with just an infectious energy, too. Here's Holiday, following the score by Detroit. And here's Brown for three. Nails it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. When it comes to Bagley, one question mark I have is his health. And if he might be injury-prone, Grant. Well, the good news, B.A., for him is that he's young. Hopefully he's able to shake off these nagging injuries. Let's face it, the more he's on the court, the more confidence he'll gain. Well, that was clearly a foul. That one misses. At the line for Detroit, Sadiq Bay. Two shots. Good on the second one. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Holiday from long range sinks the tray. Holiday. Holiday's got five. Here's the Pistons with the ball. It's a three-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. It's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Four on the clock. And again, the Pistons missing. Trying to get his man back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. Here's the three. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. And excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. It's stolen by Holiday. And here's the fast break. And here's Brown for three. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Right wing. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Stewart, screen on Holiday. Back to Stewart. Out to the wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Cunningham. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jeremy Grant.
<laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Team's changing it up here. The dance team. Pass to Wagner. Here's Coffee. There's the three. It's rebounded by Grant. To the middle. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Grant. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. Here to start, they're on solid ground, standing sixth in the conference. And check it out, Detroit, five games back. Well, I think for Louisville, they're not in any danger of a slow start. In position right now to challenge for a top seed this season. And that was their stated goal as a team coming into this season. Getting going in a hurry. Not wasting any time establishing themselves as one of the conference's top teams. Here's Joseph. And the basket is good. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim. Making a play. Here's Coffee. Fires in the triple. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Here's Joseph. Pass to Diallo. Out left to the wing. Here's Olenek. It's rebounded by Wagner. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights that bucket is automatic. Coffee. No good on the triple. Here's Diallo on the take. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. A jack of all trades, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. Here's Bates Diop. Buries it from three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Detroit calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Get free t-shirts! Now who is the loudest? All right. Those who running on to the court. Come on, get back for your good friend, Dancer! Minute 32 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Joseph. Clock at six. Garza. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Brissett. A minute six left to play in the first. Hits the trifecta. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Joseph. Over to the wing. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Count it. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. 34 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Wagner. And a nice finish on the layup. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. To the wing, right side, Garza. 
Off target from outside. Here's Brissett. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Wagner. It's tipped. It's stolen by Olenek. Grant outside. Just three on the clock. He got it off in time. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Up by 16. We'll get right back to the action when we return. All right. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck. Plenty of time left in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. We've got Aaron Holiday. Tony Bradley out there with Bruce Brown. And it's Windler in a shooting guard. Brown can't hit. It's a shot you would think he would make. He just doesn't make it all the time. And it's Bay. That time on the assist from Diallo. Bay's got his second bucket on the night. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to be growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. No question. Stewart inside, Bradley on him, and it's going to be a three-second call. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. On Wednesday, they kick off a road trip to New York, where they'll take on the Knicks. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. One way you could look at this difficult stretch against some of the best in the league, it's a tremendous chance to prove to the league just how good your team is. It could provide a huge statement. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Coming in, that went off the back iron and out. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Pure from three-point range. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time. But it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> Now here's Diallo. Diallo a screen on Brown. Pass to Bagley. Bay against Holiday. Just five on the clock. The three is up. And Bay is good for three. Bay's got eight points. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Time out. Awaiting. Who wants the team, sir? All right, look who's coming on to the court. Come on, get back for your good man, Dancer. Lockers checked in for Bradley. He's gone three for five shooting from the floor. Pass to Windler. Back to Holiday. Outside, Brown. Pulls it. And it's Wagner missing. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. And he trims the lead to single digits. He's got eight points in the quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball move. the inside holiday from long range knocks down the triple exchanging buckets from downtown 
That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Marks Wagner. That's his... And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Windler. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Stewart. And here's Detroit. They're on a 14-6 run. For three, Diallo. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. to Wagner. Watford, he's covered by Grant. And it's Bagley with a rebound. Bagley's got five rebounds tonight. Bay from long range. Another three for Detroit. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Closing it on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Inside, here's Wagner. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got six points. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great sendback. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Oh, Lennox checked in for Bay. the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Cunningham. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got 10. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Watford. That bucket makes him three for five. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Cunningham. Hauled in by Brown. To the paint. Here's Wagner. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Here's Cunningham. He's got 10. Outside Bagley. Pass to Graham. To the left side wing. Two minutes remaining in the first Diallo half. left side. Two Shot clock minutes. at six. No good from 11 feet. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Here's Wendler. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Trying his luck from deep. And he recovers it. Here's Diallo. Out to Bagley. For three. Cut X from downtown. Bagley's got himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. To the left wing. Oh, deflected. Down low. Pass to Brown. Here's Windler. 
And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. All right. Liverpool's coming on to the court. Come on. Get back for your Pistons dancer. Both teams deciding to change it up. Your Pistons dance. The dance team. The Pistons trailing. Here's Joseph. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Jackson outside. From deep. From beyond the arc, and then some. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Here's Joseph. 32 seconds left in the second quarter. Five on the clock. They get it again. Off target at the rim. Joseph has gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Bates Dia. Here's Brissett, guarded by Olenek. Here's Bates Dia. He drops it from range. Six points for him. For three. Here's Joseph. And here's Diallo. Can they get it? The shot misses. And the first half now in the books. Up by 12. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? The visiting team, 50. Thanks, I'm here now with Dwayne Casey. Coach, how do you assess your shot selection and your decision-making offensively? Well, we had some good looks. We just got to make sure we keep our poise and composure and knock them down. We had some good looks. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of juice, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. We made some mistakes defensively, not matching up quick enough. So, again, we got to keep our composure and stay with our game plan defensively. Good luck. Thank you, Coach. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. Great fight we're seeing from both these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. And time now to acknowledge what was a tremendous half of play for Louisville. Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing it. Most of their shots have come in the flow of the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Sadiq Bey. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Marvin Bagley. And it's Joseph in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. Here's Cunningham. Ten points for him. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Holiday from long range. Rebounded by the Pistons. Bagley's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Joseph. Now Bay. Away team foul. Trinder. Watford. That's his second personal foul. First team foul.
And so it's Detroit with it. Down by 12. Bagley for three. Bradley grabs the board. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. First team ball. At the line for the away team, Brad. Tony. Brad. At the line for two. And he drops the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Here's Cunningham. Ten points for him. Pass to Joseph. Outside Bagley. Five to shoot. Back to Joseph. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Joseph has got six. They've put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Holiday from long range. It doesn't go for him. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Bay left side. Pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. Can hit it from 12 feet. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Bay. A oh, nice Ooh. shot by oh. Brown. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Three-pointer. And Bay is good for three. 17 points in the game. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Now here's Brown. He's got nine. And Bay pulls it down. From about 16, kept alive. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Stewart. Time out. Away team. Hey, fans. Who wants some free tea? Take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Jeremy Grant. And one thing he's gotten better at as the years have gone on is scoring the ball, shouldering a bigger load of the offense and being willing to accept the responsibility of a go-to option for this team. Outside, Brown. Pass to Bradley. Here's Brissett. Now here's Brooks. Let's go with a three. Here's Bradley. Banked it in off the glass. Bradley's got six here in the quarter. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Bay. 17 points in the game. Hey, win in doubt. Run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch oh, on that play. Where's Looks that? like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Hey, yo, right here. And Bay, here we go. He's now eight for 11 <laughs> after that made shot. And this Four. team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. 
Outside for Brooks. From behind the arc. Good. And Brown oh, gets the assist. Brooks. Defensively, a Three breakdown points. along the perimeter. Just too slow to Detroit. rotate. Call time. Who wants the deep start? All right. Brooks coming on to the court. Come on. Get back. For your Christian Both teams making substitutions here. And here's Detroit. 17 point game. Here's Joseph. Driving in. Soft Four touch off the glass. Joseph has got eight. Using his speed advantage to create the separation he needs for the shot. Grant with a steal. Good drive by Joseph. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. You look back at the 2014 NBA draft, some of the best players of that class were second round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Ooh. Here's Joseph. Ten points for him. The rebound by Brissett. Pass to Wagner. 4 3. Rebound by Olenek. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. Here's Joseph. Inside. Outside for Grant. Spins. Shoots it from the high post. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And now from anywhere on the floor, Jeremy Grant has a lot of confidence in his jumper. Brooks, the pass to Brown. Here's Brissett. The three is up. And a great assist okay. by Brown as that one Brissett. goes in. Brown's got three assists tonight. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Here's Joseph. Here's Grant. Called in by Brown. Grant's gone one for three on the night. Misses the three. Diallo with the ball. Brissett's there. Diallo, no good. That was excellent contest. Preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Free throw good. Brown. Detroit with the ball. Here's Joseph. Shoots from 12. And that one's long. Here's Holiday. 
and he banks in the layup. Holiday's got 13 points. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. Here's Joseph. He's covered by Holiday. Diallo a screen on Holiday. Here's Joseph. And he hits it from nine feet. 12 points for him. He gets it up. Unable to get that one. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. We've got Aaron Holiday, and it's Bates Diop in at the power forward position. Looking to end this cold spell. It's deflected. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Greg. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. Now here's Diallo. Outside Bagley. Pass to Cunningham. Bates Diop with a rebound. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. On the wing, Holiday. From the right block, Bates Diop with the bucket. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish, bringing it down with some attitude. Pass to Coffee. Here's Wendler, covered by Diallo. And the three off target. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. And that one good. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Let's the three fly. Counted from distance. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three pointers. Both time. Just over a minute and a half played here. Here in the fourth. Jackson, the pass to Hayes. Here's Livers. Jackson outside. The three ball sinks it from distance. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. 
There's Jackson with the three. Gets the three to fall. Jackson. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Now here's Hayes. Pass to Jackson. With the drive. Stewart, the pass to Jackson. Picked by Stewart. Six on the shot clock. Livers, shot is off. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Back to Brooks. The three. Tries again. Bradley. And Bay pulls it down. Bay's got four rebounds now. To the inside. And finished off by Stewart. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. And Smitty, we're seeing so many players raising their voices for social justice, more so than in years past. Why do you think that is? Well, salute to all these players. Not only these players, we all must do our part. And I am thankful and love watching these young players in this era take social justice and put it in the forefront. Pass to Livers. And he converts the layup. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Lee. Off target from three-point range. Detroit with the ball. Jackson, the pass to Hayes. Here's Bay. Off target from the baseline. Pass to Jackson. Back to Brooks. To the middle. Here's Bates Diop. Oh, he's locked in. Dreen just fifth shot in his many attempts. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. To the paint. Shot's good by Livers. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. And it's Isaiah Stewart with a foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's just a bad foul. Gotta be smarter than this. Substitution for the away team. Three-pointer, Brooks. Drains the triple. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Now here's Hayes. The layup off target. Brooks outside. Three-pointer. He's off on that one. And the Pistons going the other way now. There's Jackson with the three. Knocks it down from distance. Watching Hayes, he keeps his eyes up, always looking for a better shot, either for himself or his teammates. Here's Jackson. From the high post, he drills it. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. Bay outside. Well, with the 2010s in the books, let me put you on the spot here, Smitty. Who is your player of the decade, Stephen or LeBron? Well, Steph changed how our game is played, B.A., plus the two MVPs and three rings. Wow. But I have to go with LeBron James, playing in eight straight NBA Finals. That's crazy. And so Bay nails both of them. 144 left in the fourth quarter here. Back to Brooks. There's the triple. He buries it from three. Brooks has got 11 in the second half. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Here's Cunningham. Looking to get it going. The rebound by Brissett. Jackson against Bay. Brooks outside. From downtown. Count that one. He's now five for eight. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. And he goes up strong with a one.
one-handed jam. Well, I guess you don't need two hands, but one will suffice. Hey, as long as you don't lose control. On the wing, Brooks. 51 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Cunningham. And again, it's Detroit. They're on a little run right now. But I'm wondering, where was this energy earlier? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Here's Lee. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Lee. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Olenek. Garza. And the Pistons, another three! And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. And here's Brooks. Back to Lee. On the wing, Brooks. The visiting club takes the win on the road. The A game. statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory. Sure they controlled the game and we'll took the crowd completely out of it.